guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are continuing with the fruits and veggies segment so today we are gonna be learning how to do an apple so super fast easy summer design um, if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and let's just jump into it so before we start with anything, I'm using a white tip which I buffed already using my mini brush and I will start with my outline with the black color um, and we can start. You can paint the background if you want um, in some color that you like but I will, um, I will use the white tip I think. Um, for me it works the best and then when I want to add the color I will just add it later but again it's up to your preference anyway moving on um, so I'm just gonna dip my brush into the black color and as per usual just make sure that my brush is coated from all the sides and I will just start to create an apple shape so first I will start with the S shape you can say it's not S shape it's more like a curve okay we'll just go back okay so this is my first step and I will just continue to finish it off here okay one side and now I will just finish off this side here okay just like this so kind of like a heart shape because you know apple it's not completely rounded so we have that little dent there so we want to make it as realistic as possible but as well as fast as possible to do so we'll just do a little line here as well and from there I'm gonna pull upwards Okay, so I will start to create this part of an apple. Just like that. Okay, and also I will add one leaf here. I think it's gonna go nice. Alrighty, and I will pop this in a lamp for the full curing time. I'll just turn my lamp. So 60 seconds. While that is curing in the lamp, make sure you prepare your glean, glean, <laughs> glean, your green color. Um, so I'm gonna be using. Well, it, you can make an, a yellow apple. You can make red apple, whatever color you want. But I think for summer. Um, I'm gonna do a green apple so I'm gonna be using this color 97 from Yana Nails and this one is called Santa Fe neon color so this is neon green I would say then for me it's more an apple green actually um, and I'm gonna start to actually color inside of this outline that we just did. So I'm gonna just change my brush into the Phantom. You can use the same brush. I will just use this one. Okay, I already have a mix here from um, the time when I did orange. So I have my little um, green already ready, already ready. Okay, 
and I will just start to color it in. Just inside. If you hear some noise in the background, those are those, blah, 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 blah. those are seagulls. I don't know why they're so loud at this stage. Because now in Dublin the days are super long, it's still day out even if it's 10 p.m. So the birds are going nuts. Okay, okay so this is my first, um, first coloring of the inside of the outline that we did and also I will um, color the leaf but leaf I want to make a little bit more darker so either you can use darker green but I will just mix a little bit of the brown that I have here with the green that I have on the top just to kind of get olive type of green and I will start to put that color here. For the first, um, first layer. Okay, and now it's time to pop this baby in the lamp. Full curing time, please. I'm thinking, I'm thinking what color should I put for the background, you know, green and red um, go really nice, but I think maybe red would be too much, so I think we can put, hmm, I'll think about it, I'm not sure yet, but anyway, I'm just going to grab a little bit more of that green. Can you hear the birds? I really wonder, is it gonna be um, noticeable in the video? Cause they're quite loud. Mm, I just took a little bit more of the green that I have. I'm gonna take a little bit of this as well. Um, and I'm just, I'm gonna take this out now. Okay, so now I want to add a little bit more highlight. So I'm gonna take my white that I already have on the palette. And I'm gonna start to apply this white in the middle of an apple here. You can use the yellow as well. I will actually go in and I will put some yellow here around the white. I don't know if you can hear the words, but it's super funny, the noises. Okay, so I'm just going to stretch this down a little bit. You have to be super light handed with this. Especially when you have white, if it's super pigmented, you can really make a mess super easy. And you can get really not a nice blend. So just go lightly. I will go back into the white a little bit more. I 
just fix a little bit here. Okay, just like this. I will pop it in a lamp for 30 seconds and now I'm gonna mix a little bit darker green. So I'm just taking this here so I can take a little bit of that brown. Just take a little bit more brown. And I will add it here. A bit more of the green. Okay, so we'll just um, mix them now. One second. While you know your tip is in the lamp, you can prepare all of this so you don't lose any time. So I'm mixing green and brown to get a little bit darker and dirty green. Okay. Now with that dirty green, I'm going to go around our highlight here and I'm also going to go a little bit on the edge. Open up. There. And also I will go... Okay, so now I will start to just lightly go on that darker part. And lightly just touch it so we blend it a little bit gonna take a little bit more of a normal green as well and go around the highlight just to kind of blend a little bit more there I will go back to that green. I will put a little bit more on the highlight here, just slightly, because I think I use a little bit too pigmented white. So just to make it softer, I just went a little bit on that highlight. Okay, and automatically it looks better. Okay. Also, I will mix a little bit of the green with the yellow-orange that I have here. And I will go onto the leaf. brown to color inside of this part here just like so and I 
I'll just add a little bit more color here inside of the leaf and maybe here a little bit as well. Alrighty, and now it's time for the full curing time. I will actually go with the red background. I think it's gonna look cool if we do it. So, but you can choose whatever color you want. Um, honestly, there is so many possibilities and the one that I like is this one, number 17 from Yana Nails. I will pop that in on my palette here. Now I'm just gonna take from the bottle as well and I'm gonna start to color this way and then later I'm gonna go back and you know you see when it's close to the design I'm gonna color that with the brush.
right so once that is done let's pop that into the lamp for the full curing time okay guys one more thing i will just take a little bit of that um darker green so if you don't have it just mix brown and green to get a little bit that you know dirty darker green i'm just gonna go around this area here make it a little more darker Okay, and now 30 seconds. Okay guys, so after that 30 second cure, we will start to add our um, little bit more outline. So we kind of make it a little bit more sharper and precise. So I'm going back to my mini brush and um, I will use now white color. You can use black if you want for the outline but I will use white. Just cleaning my brush into a clean paper towel and I'm using Genie in the Bottle Snow White from Yana Nails. Okay. And now we're just gonna go around the whole design that we did. So I will start with light thin lines Okay, don't worry if you go a little bit thicker, just clean it with a clean brush around. and also we can add a little bit of the wings I think it's called wings 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 okay and let's pop it in the lamp full curing time and then you add your top coat whatever your preference is matte shiny 
it's up to you okay guys now i will add a matte top coat just to cover the whole tip if you want you can use shiny top coat like i said pop it in the lamp and voila we are done okay so after that has been fully cured as well on this design you can add um with the shiny top coat few of the um dots to make it look like watery sprinkled on it i think that's really cool and it doesn't really take that much time to do but basically this is it this is how we create a little bit more realistic apple um super fast super fun to do perfect for salon work and i hope you will enjoy it if you do recreate this design please let me know tag me send me i would love to see it um thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video ciao